people will go, okay, well, I need 25 to 30 grams of protein per sitting. And then the opposing argument to that is, well, I can't go past a 30 grams a sitting because I won't be able to use all of that protein. So let's just unpack this part here. How much should they be optimizing throughout the day? There is this idea that you have to consume a minimum amount of 25 or 30 grams of protein to start this process of muscle protein synthesis. You can achieve this from lower doses. So even if you only have the opportunity in a meal to have 15 grams or 20 grams, any amount of protein is still going to be utilized in your body. You are still going to have some of those benefits. Newer research suggests that you've got a much wider window of opportunity to consume your protein. So I'm much more interested in getting your protein target for you in your 24 hours. So I'm less about like, okay, you need to hit exactly these amounts in exactly these packages or these meals or windows of time every single day. Figure out the total amount of protein you should be consuming. My my personal opinion is 1.2 is a minimum. I think there are some benefits at 1.6. If you exercise, if you're over the age of 55 or over the age of 50, if you're postmenopausal, 